Hi, I'm Rudy. I'm a resident here of Phoenix. Um, I've been here for seven months, four weeks. Uh, sorry, three weeks, four weeks, and I would have left. Um, uh, while I've been here, we've started up a project that's involved outdoor stuff, gardening. I um, The project started with um, a relationship that Phoenix struck up with ScotRail. Um, the project was, um, we were involved in uh, maintaining and maybe an upkeep of Annie's Land train station. Unfortunately, we only got about three sessions in up there and then COVID-19 came. Um, so all of that was put on hold. But with, with that time that we've had since then, we've focused all our uh, energy and time on Phoenix Gardens itself. The gardens here were put in place for a care, residential care home for the elderly. Um, so the gardens were for low maintenance. We have um, adapted to this and we've planted a lot of vegetable, we've planted um, flowers as well, uh, and just the upkeep of the grass. For me, um, nature and being close to it is a huge part of my recovery. It was a part of my life before as I come from rural Scotland. Um, it's helped me to no end in here to be able to come out into the garden and just get to one with even planting a few seeds. Um, we have residents in here that have never done anything like this before. And for me, planting a seed, watching it grow, watching it come to life and then nurturing it into something that has an end product to it is a huge part of recovery. It's, um, it can bring a lot and it does bring a lot. I've seen it myself, it's worked on me. Uh, we have things like carrots, um, broad beans, beetroot, uh, courgettes, um, onions, we have everything in here in this small self-contained garden and it's it's beautiful to see and it's beautiful to see people's faces when they realize what they can do that they can um bring a life into nature and watch it grow and look after it and care for it and it kind of mimics what they should be doing for themselves and i think that that's that's ultimate and the end goal of recovery and maintaining a healthy life in recovery uh, for me um for me, this, this program would have been a lot more challenging without the opportunities to uh, to get to one with nature's and, and, to, and to experience something on a small scale that was, um, wasn't too daunting for someone that's going through a lot in their life already. It's a small amount when you want it and with um, a reliable staff team, um, we have both staff members that have been a big part of this, Donatella and Tommy, they uh, were major parts in starting up the project with ScotRail. Um, and I hope that that will be ongoing. Once I leave here and move into the entry, which is in the Glasgow area, uh, I'll hopefully be able to come back and help further other people that have just come through the doors and are just starting their journey in recovery. Um, but for me, uh, I'm quite proud of the garden that we have now. It feels like something that I've put a big part of into and made it the way it is. And a lot of people say to me on a regular basis how, how well the garden's looking. It gives people a sense of purpose um, and it gives them a sense of knowing that they can create something that is just truly natural and beautiful without it being something something bought, something... Uh, created out of, uh, out of an off spell of something that's bad. It's just all good. Um, thank you for listening to me explain our project here at Phoenix with our garden. Um, and bye.